So the IFRC has a long-standing commitment to protect, assist, and advocate for all those affected by migration and displacement. And IFRC approach is strictly humanitarian, meaning that it focuses on the needs, vulnerabilities, and potential of migrants. And if we look at potential, we, of course, uh, have to talk about young people because young people are always proved to be great innovators, communicators, and really powerful agents of change in their communities. But often young people also suffer from lack of agency. And this is particularly true in the very vulnerable contexts, like the migratory context can be. So what we try to do as IFRC, as Red Cross, Red Cross and National Societies is that every time we work for young people, we work with young people. So we try to meaningfully empower them. An effective way to do that is including young migrants in all activities of Red Cross, Red Crescent uh, services. So as member of the affected community, of course, but also as youth leaders. So young migrants acceding to governing boards as volunteers and serving their communities as volunteers. So in the Asia Pacific region, we have several best practices in including young migrants in Red Cross represent activities. Uh, one of these uh, can be found in the Maldives where the Maldivian Red Crescent has been recruiting uh, migrants, also, many of them also uh, below 30 years old in their activities. And they represent a very precious asset for the national society. This was particularly evident at the time of COVID-19 response, where the young migrants were involved in connecting the services of the national society to the migrant communities. So they were working in the migrant support centers, providing communication information services, managing the helpline for migrants, and um, also involved in distributing uh, relief items to migrant communities. Um, nowadays, they are also involved in the vaccination campaigns, registering uh, migrants and providing for information, both internal to the Red Cross Represent, but also to external companies, for instance, having online sessions uh, explaining about the vaccine to the migrant population. It's very important to support also migrants, young migrants, uh, once back to the country of origin. And this is something that the Indonesia Red Cross PMI is engaging. Um, it has been collaborating with the Indonesian government for several years in providing psychosocial support services to the returnees sometimes after uh, having suffered of abuse and exploitation, and we are talking about also very young people, sometimes minors, 12, 13 years old, that are very much in need of psychosocial support, and this was provided by community-based volunteers of PMI.